Hi, everybody. We're Larry and Tiz Huck, and welcome to today's broadcast. Now, we're going to teach to you right now, today, yeah. about the miracle of the windows of heaven yes. being opened up Amen. over you, your family, your finances in every imaginable way. Yeah. But listen to me. On this time of Shavuot, on Pentecost, they brought seven lambs to sacrifice. Yep. There are seven places that Jesus shed his blood. And on this day, God releases. There are seven root names yes. to the personality of yep. God. Every promise is released into our lives yes. when we have eyes to see. Yep. Get ready. Your life is about to change. One of the most, I guess, I, I don't know if it's the right way to say it. One of the most famous scriptures in all the Bible is, yeah. and when the day of Pentecost, Pentecost right. had fully come, right. they were all there in one mind, in one accord. But a lot of people don't even understand, Tiz, exactly. that what Pentecost is, right. why were they all there? Yeah. Why were Jews there in Jerusalem right. from literally all over the world? on the day of Pentecost, Pentecost, which is not a Hebrew word, it's a Greek word. The real word is the word Shavuot, right. the Feast of Weeks. When yeah. the day, when the Feast of Weeks were over and the 50th day came, they were all there yeah. in one place because God was getting, they were there to bring their first fruit yes. offering because God was about to release the seven yes. blessings Amen. of the Lamb of God, the yep. seven lambs, the seven blessings of the seven places Jesus yes. shed his blood. And when we bring this yep. offering on Shavuot, on Pentecost, there are seven root names to God. Yeah. Now there yeah. are hundreds of names that God has called, but right. there are seven root names yeah. and every one of those names, when we bring this offering, Amen. Pentecost Shavuot, every name or function yes. or character or personality of yes. God is released yeah. at this time. Amen. And most Christians don't e have never even heard no. of Shavuot and don't even think about Pentecost. No, no, I mean, so many people say that to us, Larry. It's like, Pentecost? Yeah. What? What's that? That was 2,000 years yeah, ago. A one-time deal. What's the big deal? Exactly. And the understanding that it is God's feast, that it is every year. Every year. That we are to come and to celebrate and to do what God says. Yeah. Are so important because we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the covenant. If you don't know your part of the covenant with God, then it nullifies his part. Exactly. That's so important. It's so important. You know, yeah. uh, this year, yep. it, it's it's kind of a, it's, you know, in, in ancient Hebrew, there's no word for coincidence. coincidence. So it's it's a Holy Ghost coincidence that we're going to be taking a first fruit offering yeah. to Jerusalem for yes. you. Amen. And, and yes. we'll be there in Jerusalem on Shavuot yep. and on the day of Pentecost, yeah. they're going to be at the same time. Amen. And it's amazing that the last time I was in Jerusalem, we went and did some television program that, um, that no one was there yeah. in Jerusalem right. because I think a lot of people think the day of Pentecost happened 2,000 years ago. Yeah. No, listen to me. The day of Pentecost and Shavuot are synonymous. Shavuot is, the, the word Pentecost comes from the, the number 50. From the time Israel left Egypt, God said, count seven weeks, wow. the Feast of Weeks, 49 days. And then on the 50th day, when the day of Pentecost, the day of Shavuot mm. had fully come, yeah. they were all there in one place in one accord. Why were they there? They were there because God commands us yeah. in Malachi to return unto him yes. and he'll return unto us. Amen. They said, how do we return? Now listen to me, most Christians don't know this, but it's the truth that you own, oh, that you know, yep. that will come and set you yeah. free. They were there because, remember where Jesus said, 30, 60, 100 fold. 
three times a year. Malachi yeah. says, return unto me, and I'll return unto you. Right. How do we return? Yes. In tithes, we know what a tithe sure. is. 10% belongs to the Lord. It's right. holy unto God. But what we most Christians don't know is that three times a year, yeah. we are to come before the Lord and not come without an right. offering. Right. When we bring this offering, it's Passover, it's Shavuot, Pentecost, yes. it's Sukkot, Feast of Tabernacles. At that time, God's window of heaven is open. Glory. The window of heaven. Wow. The word window is the word you showed. It means a funnel from yes. God's throne to your yes. need, to your family, to yes. your finances. So during this time, the window of heaven is open. So when we bring that offering, yeah. it, it connects us Amen. to the promises and the covenants yes. of God. Yes. And God pours us out a blessing yeah. that there's not room enough to receive. And he rebukes the devourer. Yes. Listen to me. This is the only time of the year that tis we bring this offering, and when we bring this offering, yeah. God releases his covenant promises Amen. to us Amen. for the whole rest of the year. Yes. When, when, when we were talking about they would bring seven lambs, right. we talked about the seven places Jesus shed his blood. Yeah. We talked about the seven root words of God. When yes. you bring this offering, when you bring this first fruit offering, yeah. not only are there seven lambs, there, 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 we'll get into this later, there's 26 total offerings we bring, but the main one are two loaves. Right. We're to take two loaves and, and lift them up. In, in, in Egypt, they gave a first fruit offering, they yeah. gave a barley offering. A barley offering is an offering of a slave. Right. It's an offering of limitation. The word, right. the word Egypt means boundaries or limitations. Mm -hmm. yes. So when they brought a barley offering, they were still limited by this world. Right. 50 days later, and, and you know, there's so much to teach. Why did God have them wait 50 yeah. days? Because they had to go from a slave mentality right. that this world limits us yeah. to a son of God mentality. And when they bring these two loaves, yes. it represents two main covenants of right, God right. that are released into our lives. Yes. The covenant of signs and wonders and yeah, miracles. Yep. God entrusting us as covenant sons yes. of God Amen. with the anointing of God. Mm. This offering brings the anointing yep. of God where there will be signs right. and wonders and miracles. Right. The second loaf, which is a wheat offering also, it is a covenant between God and man yeah. that be, from the time they left Egypt, to the time they got to Mount Sinai, God was bringing water out of a rock. God was bringing manna from heaven. God was bringing quail. Yeah. God was defeating their enemy. Right. But it was a limited blessing. Yeah. In Egypt, it, they lived in the land of not enough. Right. In the 40-day journey, they lived in the land of just enough. Right. But when, they, when God made a covenant with them, yes. they went from not enough they went from just enough Amen. to the God of yep. more than Amen. enough, good measure, pressed yes. down, shaken together. This offering yep. every year tis reconnects us yeah. with the covenant of God, yeah. the seven lambs, Amen. the seven places Jesus shed his blood, the seven root word yes. names of God. And God yes. says, when you bring this offering, right. when right. you bring this offering, yeah. I will open up the windows of heaven Glory. and I will reconnect yeah. you with every Amen. covenant. Listen to yes. me, every covenant of God, I'll reconnect you with the seven places, mm. the lamb of God shed his blood. I'll reconnect you. Remember they said, Amen. return unto me. God said, return unto me and I'll return yes, unto you. Did. Well, who is God? God is Jehovah Jireh, our yes. provider. God is Jehovah Sidkenu, Jehovah Mekidesh, yeah. Jehovah Shalom, Amen. on and on. Yeah. This is the most important time. Yep. But yep. not only does this happen every year at this time, but this is a, and we've been teaching this, this is a double Jubilee yes. time. This is the time that yep. God cancels our debt. Yeah. It's a, it, the double Jubilee has never happened before. Right. The double Jubilee will never happen. Just think about a single Jubilee. Yeah. A Jubilee right. won't happen for 50 more years, wow. 50 years, but a double Jubilee. When Jerusalem left the hands of the Gentiles mm -hmm. 
and was put back in the hands of the Jewish people yeah. exactly the way Jesus said. Wow. It is preparation for the coming of the Messiah, Amen. but it is preparation for the end time transfer yes. of wealth, preparation yes. for signs and wonders yep. and miracles. It is the most, and then yeah. as I said last week, it's, it's a triple jubilee yeah. in that the two double jubilees are Jerusalem spiritual, Jerusalem financial, physical, but also it's a jubilee from Passover to Shavuot the Pentecost. Guys, there has never been, if you're ready wow. for your miracle financial, the yeah. main thing is financial anointing right now yeah. and signs and wonders and miracles, Amen. supernatural Amen. anointing. And that's why in ancient Hebrew, there's no word for coincidence. coincidence. Yeah. We will be no in Jerusalem. Now we we have, you know, let me share this real quick. I know you give because you want to be a blessing yeah. to Israel. Right. But we always want to give you a gift to remember that blessing. Yeah. We in we've got a Bible that we just printed that takes every name of God. Yeah. Every name of God. Yeah. And brings it back to the original Hebrew. Yeah. You know, in 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 the English Bible, it says the Lord, or it says uh, uh, Jehovah, or whatever it says, and they change the name of God ten thousand places. Yes. We're going to give you a Bible yes. that will will show you the name of God yeah. in that specific scripture. Amen. And remember that when we give this offering, yeah. it activates yep. everything, those seven root names yeah. of God. Now there yep. are many other names of God that come, right. up, but seven root names of yeah. God. Yep. And you know, when I was coming in to teach this, I didn't realize that we were doing this Bible yep. on, on these programs. This is not a coincidence. Yes. God is getting Amen. ready to activate yes. the seven places Jesus shed his blood, the seven yeah. anointings of the Lamb of God, yeah. and the seven names of God to come in full. Yes. This is the purpose of a, when you bring Ooh. that offering before God yeah. on Shavuot, on Pentecost, yep. not something that happened 2,000 years ago. Right. This is a time of reestablishing yes. your covenants with yes. God. And we're going to take an offering for you to Jerusalem. We'll be in Jerusalem yep. to present a first fruit offering. Our announcer is going to tell you we're we're going to purchase an ambulance. Yes. But it's more than an ambulance. Right. It is a intensive care unit yep. that is literally going to save thousands of lives. Yep. Now think about yep. that. God says, "I will bless those who yep. bless you, and I will curse those who curse you." Concerning Israel. Your gift is not only going to be a blessing, it's, it's not only the, the, the most important right. gift you can give to open the windows of heaven over your life and pour you out such a blessing, Amen. there won't be room enough to receive it, yeah. but it's literally going to save lives Amen. in Israel. Amen. One ambulance yeah. will make 10,000 calls. Yeah. Now that may mean one person or that may be five people. This intensive care unit, can you imagine the blessing that is going to come yes. on your life? And yes. I'm going to say this before we go to the announcer. We've already told them we're going to buy one of these mm -hmm. for Jerusalem. Yep. But I feel in my heart we need to buy four. Amen. So I believe God is going to speak to businesswomen, businessmen, ministries and say, you know what? I want to mm -hmm. buy one or I want to yeah. buy half of one. Yep. Because as soon as I hear from you, right. I'm calling them right. and saying, let's build another one. Yep. Let's build another yep. one. Oh, for such a time as this. Yes. Think about it. The window of heaven, the window of heaven mm. is opened up Amen. over you right yes. now. I'm praying that God will speak to you to do something amazing Amen. because he's getting ready to do something amazing through you and for you. Yeah. We'll be right back.